Hi. Are dark test strips, keto strips, dangerous? In my opinion, no. Most people that ask this question get dark on their testing strip and they worry about whether their ketone levels are dangerously high. The only way that you're ketone levels are going to get dangerously high that I'm aware of in the research that I've done is if you have problems with your kidney function. If you aren't diabetic and you have healthy functioning kidneys then you don't really need to worry about dark colors on the testing strips. Now the most common thing that I hear when somebody has a dark testing strip is you're dehydrated and you need to go get more hydrated and then almost immediately those people start defending that they've been drinking quite a bit of water. So I want you, when you think that you have a dark test strip because you might be dehydrated, to think about what the color of the urine was. If you're using a testing strip, obviously you looked at the urine. If the urine was clear to light pale, then you're adequately hydrated, and if it was clear, you may even be overhydrated. If the urine was exceptionally dark, this explains probably why the ketone strip was exceptionally dark, and you're probably dehydrated. If it was a pale yellow color or a normal yellow color for you, um, then most likely a dark ketone strip just indicates that your body has begun the ketone process and that your body hasn't fully adapted to using those ketone bodies yet, so they're spilling over into the urine. Remember, these ketone testing strips will spill fewer and fewer ketones over time as a person continues the keto diet. So by month three, four, five, six, sometimes they don't show up as positive even though the person is definitely in ketosis, which is why at those stages people use the more expensive and more accurate blood meters that indicate the amount of ketones that are present in the blood. The ketones that are present in the urine are an accidental byproduct of the keto process and are helpful to tell beginners in a cost-effective way whether or not keto processes are going on in the body. But aside from detecting whether or not the strip was reactive or not reactive, there's not a lot of useful information as to the color of the strip. So if people are asking you to freak out because your ketone testing strip is dark and you feel like you've been getting adequate water and especially if you're in month one or two of the ketogenic diet I would feel comfortable in ignoring a dark strip. Now as this is a medical issue I think it's worth noticing or talking about the fact that everybody especially people who have had previous health issues or are of an older age should consider talking to their doctor about a ketogenic diet if only to get benchmark values before you start that you can revisit six months or a year into the diet to see how the diet is affecting your health. So in those cases I would ask them if you have any markers for renal issues or if you're at risk for diabetes then you want to investigate whether or not you have properly functioning healthy kidneys. Many people that are type 2 diabetic are at some slightly subclinical level of renal issue so if you're type 2 diabetic especially please talk to your doctor about this diet when you get started um, because in those cases a dark testing strip for a diabetic or a person with kidney issues could be indicative of a problem. But if you're fairly sure that your kidneys are healthy and functioning and if you've never had diabetes then most likely a dark testing strip just means that you're in the early processes of fat adaptation and your body is spilling a lot of acetoacetate into the urine and that's what the dark testing strip is indicating and there's no real health issue with that and I would not be concerned about it. But as always, talk to your doctor if you feel any sort of symptom at all and follow those up with whatever advice he advises. I love you guys. Enjoy.